This is Mridul Bapat, who is currently working as a teacher, mathematics teacher. And so, Mridul, what was your main driving force uh, which forced you to pursue your career in teaching? Uh, I always loved math. And I loved explaining things. And uh, I did try my hands at uh, medicine since I also you know had this dream of uh, becoming a doctor so I joined med school but a month later I realized that it wasn't my cup of tea so I came back and pursued math and uh, you know uh, took up a job as a teacher it sounds great so it's great that you are doing what you love to do. You love explaining things, as you said. So how has online platforms like Zoom or Google Meet or other video call pro uh, programs influenced teaching? Um, see, right now, uh, because I don't uh, work in any school or college, like I used to a few years ago, till a few years ago, I give tuitions at home for children who are, uh, you know, uh, requiring extra help in mathematics. And so it's not like one of those huge coaching classes. It's more or less one-on-one. -on -one. So I just help them with whatever it is that is uh, difficult for them. So because of that, these online classes have been extremely uh, wonderful. For one, the child does not have to travel long distances, spend a lot of time coming to my place. For another, you know, uh, I can sit comfortably at home. The student can sit comfortably in his home and uh, hear my explanations, see me write. And then when he or she also writes, I can also have a look and, you know, fix the issues then and there, explain further. And... Um, at times, um, you know, when I feel the need for a graphing app, for example, uh, I tell them to just download it and, you know, we both use it and we see how these uh, functions behave and what points of intersection actually mean and uh, things like that. So it's uh, really useful and um, I think it's, it works as good as, uh, you know, sitting across the table face to face. So that I'm, sounds great. Yeah. I can even, you know, take small clips of, uh, you know, some beautifully explained uh, video and just play it to them by somebody else. But, you know, since I uh, love to teach, I love to listen to other people explain other uh, topics and so on. So I keep watching these little videos uh, in math. And uh, sometimes I just cut it and uh, send it to them and they can just watch it or share the link or something. So it's really wonderful. Which anyway I used to do even when they would come here. But uh, here the biggest saving is they don't have to trudge up and down from school. That sounds great. So it's really great that how technology has evolved and has uh, maintained a profession like this during our, this uh, crisis uh, of COVID. And we can still learn our, skill, our students. And so what guidance do you have for students who are looking to pursue teaching or tutoring as a career? Uh, first and foremost, they should love the subject that they wish to teach. And they should uh, try and be as good at it as they can and keep on reading things about it. And secondly, actually quite important, they should have uh, a lot of things and a lot of time and empathy with the students. You know, if you're not patient, you're not kind, you're not empathetic with the students, then it's your fault. Okay. Yeah. So thank you, Mrudal. Thank you so much for your time. And good luck on your work. You're most welcome, Johan. And good luck with all that you're doing. <laughs>